Hi, this is David with David's Tutorials, where I share what I've learned along the way to help make your life better. And in today's video, I'm going to show you how to have fun with underlines in Microsoft Word. And you say, what? Fun with underlines? How can that be? Well, I'm going to show you how to make your underline something other than that plain old single underline black thing that you always get when you click the underline button in Microsoft Word. Stay tuned. Here we are in a blank Microsoft Word document. I'm going to add some random text by typing equals R-A-N-D, open paren, one comma five, close paren, and press enter. Now let's pick some text in the middle of that paragraph that we might want to underline. Let's pick type A keyword and drag to select it. On all versions of Word, up in the control or ribbon bar, you'll see a U button with an underline. If you click this, it will underline your section the normal way, the boring way, with a single black line. Click the button again and the underline goes away. This is pretty much standard behavior on all word processors. However, on Windows computers, right beside that button is a drop down arrow. And clicking on that arrow, opens up a world of new possibilities. Just to demonstrate, let's select the squiggly underline. There. Now, let's make it red. There. When we click off of the selection to deselect it, you can see the underline we just created. However, that drop-down arrow beside the U button is not present in all versions of Word, such as on the Mac but you can get the same controls on both Windows and Mac computers by opening the font dialog. First, as always, select the text you want to work on. Let's select that same text, then press Ctrl or Command D to bring up the font dialog. In the second level of that dialog, you will see a drop-down for underline style and one for underline color. Let's drop down the underline style field and select a dashed underline. Now, let's select the color for that underline and let's make it, oh, how about a medium blue? When we click on OK in the font dialog, we are now able to see that the underline on that selected text has changed to the style and color we picked. Another place the underlines can appear in your Word document is as letters between tab stops. And yes, that is the correct pronunciation, letters. It comes from the days of handset type when they used strips of lead to insert spacing between letters or between words when they set that type. If you like, you can learn all about tab stops in words because I have a small playlist on that right there. You can click on that and learn all about tab stops in Word, and I'm also going to put a link to that playlist in the description section down below. Now, you have to be watching this video on the YouTube channel in order to be able to see the description section and, of course, to leave comments, which I am sure you're going to leave us a really nice comment telling us how you use this after you watch the video. Let's set that up now. First, I type column one, then a tab, then I type column two. Next, I click out to the left of the words to select the entire line. Then we need to display the tabs dialog. The quickest way to do this, if you have your ruler displayed above your document below the ribbon bar, is by double clicking on that thin gray bar between the ruler and the document, like so. You usually have to be very careful in positioning your cursor to get it in just the right place to make the tabs dialog appear. If you don't have your ruler bar displayed, or if you just want a different way to get there, on the Home tab of your ribbon bar, find the Paragraph group and click on the box with arrow in the lower right corner of that group. This will bring up the Paragraph dialog, and in the lower left of that dialog, you will see the Tabs button. Click that button and that will bring up your tabs dialog. In this example, let's set a left tab to be two inches. And we will set the letter to be number four, which is the underlying character. Then we click OK and we see that column number two has moved out to two inches 
and that there is an underline as a letter between the two columns. Because the tab is itself a character, we can change the color of that character just as we do any other character. Let's select the tab and in the standard color drop down box on the ribbon bar select red. Now we can see that the underlying letter has changed color for this tab. And there you have it. You know now how you can change the underlines of selected text to be any style you like. You can make it double underline, you can make it a bold underline, you can make it a squiggly underline or a dashed or dotted, whatever you want, and you can change it to be any color you want. You also know how to change the color of the underscore tab character when you have it used as a letter between columns. Don't forget to give us a good old thumbs up if you like this video so that you will tell the YouTube robots to recommend this video to other people and you'll also encourage me to make more of these videos. If you're already a subscriber, thank you so much. I appreciate every one of you and if you're not a subscriber, why not go ahead right now and click that subscribe button and then the bell icon and YouTube will let you know whenever we post another great tutorial right here on David's Tutorials. Take care everybody and I hope you have a wonderful day and a wonderful rest of your year.